Hi DIY friends! I found out some new information about my Dollar Tree this week I want to share with you. I found lots of new great spring items I want you to see so you can keep your eyes out for them. And I even have some DIYs to share with you today as well. And if you're new here, I want to say welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. My name is Shannon. Here we do tons of Dollar Tree DIYs, hacks, organization, just inspiration galore. So if you're new, I want to say welcome again. Hit that subscribe button so you can come back because some of these items you're going to see today, I'm also going to be DIYing in the future. And I hope you can't hear my heater and fireplace going right now. It is so cold here. We had an ice storm. I have my blanket on. I'm just trying to keep warm today. Getting cozy with you to show you some of these new finds and also share with you some information that I found out about my own personal Dollar Tree. So I usually only go to Dollar Tree when I need something or if I'm in the area and just stop in real quickly. Sorry, I can't tell you where my Dollar Tree is specifically, but just know I stop at a lot of them in the St. Louis, Missouri area if you're interested in that. And the one that I frequent is pretty small, so I don't want you to feel like I have these big giant Dollar Trees because I'm in a big city. Not really. Actually, my favorite ones are the small ones because they seem to be more well stocked and more well taken care of. So anyway, I found out that the delivery truck arrives on Tuesdays in my favorite Dollar Tree. So now I know that I can actually go on a Wednesday or a Thursday and likely be able to see all the new things after they have a chance to restock and replenish. So if you have a favorite Dollar Tree, it doesn't hurt to ask when their truck is delivered. That way you know. Maybe don't frequent it the day before knowing that it's probably going to be a little bit slim on their stock. Wait a day or two after the delivery truck arrives. So that way you get a better opportunity to see new things and more well-stocked shelves. And I actually get a lot of comments from you guys saying how nice my Dollar Tree is and how clean it is. And that is why it's my favorite Dollar Tree. So even though it is a tiny Dollar Tree, because it's clean, I'm still able to find some really great things. It's usually well-stocked and there are usually tons of hidden gems too. Basically, I found out from an employee there that it is because the manager herself plays a big role in helping take care, stock, and maintain the store. And I do see her there quite a bit hard at work. So if you see a store that is nice, well-stocked, clean, likely it's because they have really great management. And I know not every Dollar Tree is nice. They are kind of far and few between sometimes. And I'll even make a drive if I find a good Dollar Tree that's worth it. But my best tip here is to find out when that big truck delivery comes in every week for those farther away Dollar Trees on days that are after their truck delivery and after they have some time to restock. And in addition to that, I found some great new spring, Easter, and everyday finds I wanna show you so you can keep your eyes out for them too. One item in particular I had such high hopes for tested and it just didn't work out well. So I wanna make sure you avoid that item. And let's start in the spring section. If you see these cute straws, they are sort of a pastel gingham springy paper straw. Think crafting, think gifts, think parties. Great bargain. I grabbed two of these because there's gonna be some DIYs happening with these for sure. Also found some Easter LED lights. I love Dollar Tree's fairy lights. These have Easter eggs on them that makes them even more cute. Definitely a good bargain and good find. They also had these felt flowers. Now they say they're coasters on them, but I think this would be so cute for crafting with. You could use them for coasters. I think it would be cute even as like a stamp or something, which is what I may actually end up using them for. So stay tuned for that DIY. Ribbon is another item at Dollar Tree that I always love to stock up on because it's a great deal. You could even find name brand ribbon such as Ofre. And that is a brand you can find at craft stores and Walmart. So when I see that at Dollar Tree, I scoop that up. They have some adorable Easter ribbon right now and even Baker's twine that is mixed in with it. I grabbed yellow. Yellow is like becoming my new favorite color ever. So if you see me in a lot of yellow, that's why. <laughs> so I have yellow and then black and white too, basically because this is good all year long, but they had lots of pastel colors too. 
a great deal and bargain. So grab these if you see them. This made me think of my little guy. They have these cute basket buddies. I grabbed the shark for him, uh, but they had other ones too. A cute way to dress up a Dollar Tree basket as an Easter basket or even for a birthday basket. So we're going to do a quick DIY so you can see what this looks like in action. So one thing to note with this kit is that it does not come with any kind of adhesive. So I would suggest having some hot glue on hand, but it basically is just cardboard stickers and some felt. It comes together really quickly and easily and looks so, so cute. I love napkins because you can craft with these. These are so pretty on candles, mod podge onto different things, and they had some really pretty spring ones. I especially love this one that has the little planter and the flowers, but this is really pretty too. So keep your eye out for springtime napkins that you can craft with. This is another super cute Easter find, their little chipboard or MDF monograms that are also sort of easter fied with little bunny ears and a bunny tail so cute to hang off of an easter basket and also a fun craft project dollar tree also had some new easter metal pieces like this easter bunny they had an easter egg and a baby chick too i believe i love their metal this is one of those products that is definitely worth the price and super cute by themselves or to Decorate with, decorate up, add on to other things to enhance wreaths and signs and things. So a great find. I don't know why I grabbed this. I just thought it was so cute. It's a little bunny bum. So again, cute to add to an Easter basket or a wreath or into a plant during Easter time. Now, of course, I think they're marketing these pom-poms as little bunny tails, but obviously white pom-poms you can use all year long. So a great large sized pom-pom to add to your craft stash. This pack here has 18 in it. And now I know this what has Valentine's Day logo on it, but I don't remember seeing these for Valentine's. I think maybe they just didn't put them out in time for Valentine's Day, but it's a pink gingham, which re reminded me of springtime and Easter. So I grabbed this for springy decor instead of for Valentine's Day decor. And now moving on to spring. I love lavender. However, I don't like the smell of lavender, if that, if that makes any sense at all. I love to decorate with it though. It is so pretty. It's such a subtle little touch of purple and so, so springy. So Dollar Tree has these gorgeous lavender stems now. I picked up four of them. I can't wait to decorate with these for springtime. Now, these are the items that I'm gonna tell you to avoid. They are actually called floral scissors. And I thought, you know what? I could use another pair of good scissors. And usually floral scissors mean heavy duty or they do to me anyway. So I grabbed this pair in high hopes that it would be a great find, purchase, and addition to my craft stash. However, I'm gonna tell you to avoid these because, and maybe it's just mine, but if it's a universal problem, they're probably gonna drive you guys crazy too, but I don't know if you can see, it catches, and it doesn't always wanna close. So it's almost like they overlap in the middle and don't close. So this is just not going to work for me. I really liked that it has that little open part in the middle, but I think that that is the problem where they are kind of overlapping. So sometimes they close, sometimes they catch and they just don't want to work. So I would say this one's probably a hard pass for me. I, I was so excited to see Dollar Tree carrying their decorative fence pieces again this year. I hacked these last year and have a video full of ideas of how you can repurpose them. And I'll link that video down in the description box below so you can watch that video next if you haven't seen it. This is my favorite DIY from that video. It's basically a decorative hanging piece. So I cut all of the extra pieces off of the decorative part. We're also gonna pair that with a Dollar Tree hook system. And and I really wanted it to look like the black iron of the fence. So I painted that black. 
Also, I had a couple paint stir sticks, so I cut those down to size, painted them with some brown paint so they looked like they were stained wood. And we're gonna attach those hooks onto the decorative piece with some Dollar Tree zip ties. And then we're gonna use the wooden stir sticks to cover up where those meet. So some super glue comes in handy here to make sure you have a good bond, permanent bond, and you'll just lay those paint stir sticks over the top. And then you have a really beautiful decorative hanging piece beautiful for an entryway. You can use it for functionality for hanging your scarves or hats, or even you can put your keys on this or just simply use it for only decorative purposes like I am showing you here. I will make sure to have that video linked down below too if you want to see more ideas of how you can repurpose these garden fence pieces from Dollar Tree. Now I have four items absolutely grab if you see them because they are so worth it and they are great for keeping in your craft stash year round and even becoming handy in times when you need them so first thing are these plant hangers this is a huge bargain because you cannot find these cheaper than dollar tree at any other store but you can also take these apart use the chain for other things and even the hook for other things. So this is something I usually buy several of and then use them throughout the year. Absolutely these two, they are the metal hanging plant brackets. You can only find them at springtime, but you can use these all year long. And you guys remember my little fiasco with my Dollar Tree planter hacks video where I put these on broom poles and then put them in concrete and I put them upside down. So don't do what I did. Uh, learn my lesson there. Thanks to you guys in your comments in that video. Definitely want to hang them this way if you're going to hang something off the end. However, if you flip them this way, you can still install them this way and use it to put wood on as a shelf, which I've also done too. And I'll link those videos and tutorials down in the description box below. I have been impatiently waiting for Dollar Tree to put their moss back out. I've been able to find Spanish moss, but not the green, which just screams springtime and summer to me. So mine finally got them back in stock. So I grabbed two. We'll see if this suffices me, but Hopefully they continue to stock them throughout the spring and summer seasons. Another thing you're not gonna find cheaper than at Dollar Tree are their river rocks. And I go through these during the springtime because I love adding them to my springtime decor and projects and using them for outside and inside. So I grabbed two of those to have on hand for upcoming DIYs, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. Then I grabbed a couple new things that I'm gonna be crafting and creating with. These are seed starter pots. I think these would be so cute if we just kept them kind of rustic looking. Added some moss, added some Spanish moss. I don't know. I just feel like there a lot comes in a pack. There are 12 of them in here. So I just see some really inexpensive and easy springtime DIYs coming with these guys. This is new in my Dollar Tree too. It's a little plastic planter. I think this would be cute left clear and you can put your rocks and moss in there and plant succulents and that kind of thing. But I'm also thinking it'd be cute to paint these too. I don't know, put them on the wall, put them, make them like a raise to your tray thing. So grabbed one of these. We'll see what this guy turns into soon. I grabbed this to do with my little guy. It's a seed starter, no, a seed starting greenhouse. It's kind of just a plastic little container. And I feel like it's just gonna be a fun project for us to do, trying to grow some seeds, which you can also find at Dollar Tree. I grabbed some more of these buckets. Usually they have these year round, but I've only seen the tall skinny ones. So when they brought back the short, more big ones, um, I grabbed three of those. Dollar Tree also has their cute little gnome figurines back again this year. And I hacked these a couple years ago. They were a little bit busy for me. So I simply took them outside and spray painted them in three colors that kind of complemented each other. So I had sort of a sagey green spray paint, a light gray and white. These are so cute to add to your garden, add to planters, use them indoors and out. It just gives them a little bit more of a high end look, which I love. Thank you. 
So you guys have seen, I have done in the past, the big giant planters from Dollar Tree, a hacks video on those, and also a terracotta pots planter hacks video. And if you missed those, I'll link those down below too. This year I'm planning on doing a hacks video with all of their regular size planters. So be on the lookout for that. I grabbed this one. It's kind of got a neat pattern and print on it, but they have lots of different sized and scaled and colors of planters that we're going to be working on really, really soon. As far as crafts go, I haven't really seen a whole lot of new things in the crafter square. I did grab this. I don't think it's new. It's a piercing and scoring tool set. I just thought maybe it would come in handy. It's and if you guys didn't know, I get pretty much like 95% of my cleaners at Dollar Tree. I feel like they actually do a really good job most of the time. Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap actually said that their new glass cleaner was the best she had ever used. So I did buy that, tried that. It's pretty good. But I also tried their cream furniture polish in the same brand and style. And I actually really, really love this too. This may be my new favorite furniture polish to use in dusting spray. And again, this was a new cleaner at my Dollar Tree. I love the awesome spray, the regular kind. This one is a cherry blossom all purpose cleaner and degreaser. So I haven't got a chance to try this yet, but it smells really good. And so I'm hoping it works really well too. So that way I have a new, really inexpensive and kind of pretty cleaner to use in the kitchen and in my craft area. Does anybody know what Dunkaroos are? You have to let me know down in the comments below if you know what Dunkaroos are. I grew up on Dun Dunkaroos that you could find them at Dollar General. And so when I saw a Dunkaroo cereal at Dollar Tree, this went straight into the cart. I cannot wait to try this. I don't, let's try it right now. <laughs> let's try it right now and I'll give you a in the moment review. I'm gonna try to use my, uh, Dollar Tree scissors that I don't recommend either. See, they don't even want to cut. <laughs> all right, all right, so it does cut. It's just, it can get a little annoying, I think. All right. So they're cute, they're little. They're little bitty. Oh, they're hard. Okay. I think the original Dunkaroos win. Maybe once you put milk on them, they aren't so hard, but I don't know if I'll be snacking on these. It's just something fun, right? So you guys let me know though. Did you have Dunkaroos when you were a kid? From cereal to tools. So this is a new find in the automotive tool section. It's hex, it's a hex key set. What a huge bargain that is. You cannot find these any cheaper anywhere else. And I, pr I don't know if I'm actually gonna need these or use these, but I feel like for $1.25, I can add this to my stash. And if I ever do need them, I will have them handy, but they may also come in handy for crafting at some point to use to pry something up or something. So I thought it was worth the money just to grab them and have. These were the only new organization finds that I thought were worth grabbing and sharing. I'd never seen these before. They have the little drop down clamps on the sides. This top part comes off and then look inside. It's got this little door. So you can maybe put, I don't know, crafts in there, food in there, take it in a lunch or a lunch box. But I thought these were so, so neat. I'll probably use these for both of my daughter's lunch boxes. And I love thinking outside the box when it comes to organization. Dollar Tree had tons of different uh, pill organizers. I grabbed this one because it was like the biggest one, like the more most bang for your buck, I should say. So you get so many different compartments for $1.25. They had some other ones that were smaller, so maybe that would work for you in other situations. But I grabbed this to actually keep some crafting supplies in. So here, I thought I'd give you a little better close up look. It can hold so many different things. Great for a bathroom too, great for, for jewelry. So 
a good bargain, a good find, and excited to use these to organize with. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments below what items you'll be looking for at your next trip to Dollar Tree. If you would please take one second, hit that thumbs up button. That helps out my channel so, so much, and I so much appreciate that. And if you are new, subscribe so you can join our DIY family here. And I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one. See you soon.